everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Walmart exclusive WWE Elite Hollywood John Cena as Jacob Toretto and The Rock as Luke Hobbs from two Fast and the Furious movies. Well, I guess the, the, the Hobbs and Shaw is kind of a spinoff, but you guys get the point. John Cena as Jacob Toretto, The Rock as Luke Hobbs. Very excited for these because I've always loved the Fast and the Furious, you know, saga. Even though, completely, utterly ridiculous. I might even do a whole video on that one day just for shits and giggles. Or maybe I can start a Patreon and just start ranting about movies and whatever the hell else I want. But here we go guys, John Cena and The Rock. When I first saw these figures and I saw the leaks of it, this image in particular of The Rock, when I saw this in package, I was like, bro, that is a custom package. There's no way in hell that that's real. Like, look at this image of The Rock. What is, what is this, man? I didn't think for a second it was real. It ended up being confirmed. And now we have it in the flesh, man. We are missing the Andre the Giant figure. They did not have the Roddy Piper. I found these on a toy hunt, as you guys will see later on. But they didn't have Roddy Piper, which I really wanted. We're still waiting on Wave 2 with Scorpion King and Roman Reigns. It's going to be a really ridiculous deal going on. But here's John Cena and The Rock, man. As you guys can see, black and gold packaging. WWE Hollywood. John Cena as Jacob Toretto. The Rock as Luke Hobbs there. On the side, you get that same. Look at The Rock's face, by God. You have the images of the two right there. On the back, you get a little bio read. You got image shots from the movie. You got their names. Got logos of the franchise. Fast 9 and then Hobbs and Shaw. You got little bio reads. If you want to read them, you can pause it right now. You have Rowdy Roddy Piper is the last figure in the set that we did not get. You got the action shot from the movie, and that pretty much, and they also have the, the movie logos at the top over there, opposite side of the Elite. But anyways, guys, we are going to crack John Cena and The Rock out of the packaging. Kind of pretty much WWE's two biggest stars, I'd say, over the last 20 years, right? I mean, they have literally, you know, they've cracked Hollywood wide open with their efforts. So it's pretty cool to see them in Hollywood figure form here. I've always had an idea to have a John Cena shelf specifically dedicated to only his movie roles, which I guess I can still work on now, and now I have an official. But let's shut the hell up and crack them out of their packaging, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, here's John Cena and The Rock, or I should say Jacob and Luke, out of their packaging, man. And these are pretty cool figures, man. I'm really liking this idea of the whole wave. Like, I really think it's a genius idea. I like the creativity of it. You can do really cool things outside of it. And I'm excited for more future waves in the in the future, you know? We could get the Marine John Cena. We could get Baywatch The Rock. You know, there's a bunch of different things like that that I'm really excited about. But what we're going to do first, guys, is take a look at The Rock's accessories and The Rock, and then we'll run it back and do it the same thing with John Cena and the Jacob Toretto figure. So let's go ahead hit it. So for the Rock's accessories, guys, you don't get a tone with this wave. You get interchangeable hands and then you get his little lay piece or his covering here. I don't even know what the correct terminology is for it. And I don't want to butcher it. But you do get like this waist wrap deal. And it's very cool. You got some nice tribal patterns going all around there. Reminds me a lot of, you know, the Rock's tattoos, Roman Reigns tattoos, and just that whole culture with the Rock and Roman Reigns. So I really like this. Nice red color. And it does Velcro in the front so you can wrap it around his waist as you guys saw earlier in the video. But it's a nice soft material. It's cloth. You know, no rubber here, so I do really appreciate that. It's got a nice red and black tone to it. I like it. Pretty sick there. And then outside of that, guys, you do have interchangeable hands. He comes with mic holding hands, you know, to grab weapons and stuff like that to kick ass. And then out of the packaging, he also comes with fisted hands. So that's pretty much it for the Rock's accessories, man. You don't get much outside of that. Guess they didn't want to, you know, give him a gray t-shirt or, you know, some guns or a spear or other things that was used in the movie, but pretty cool nonetheless. So starting out with the head sculpt on the Rock, man, this head sculpt has been seen multiple times. I mean, it may be slightly different, but I don't think it is. Smiley Face Rock, not a bad head sculpt. I mean, I feel like the eyes may be a little bit off or something, but we've seen multiple Smiling Rock faces. I would have preferred a pissed off or a yelling or something like that bald rock head sculpt. It's like they just can't get him in for a new sculpt or something because this guy's had the same head sculpts over and over and over again for a long time now, but I'm glad they used the Jack torso. They didn't use, you know, the, the same torso they used on the Elite 81 Rock. I'm pretty sure that was the case, right? Like, they, they used, like, that smaller torso. They used, like, the smaller torso so I'm pretty sure. If they didn't, I'm just glad that they kept this torso because it matches the rock much better. You got the really jacked arms and we do have his updated bull tattoo over here which is really, really sick. It does cover up the Brahma Bull, of course. I remember everybody like freaking out when he did this. You know, he, he wanted to cover the Brahma Bull so he covered it, man. I mean, what do you want? Over on this side though, you do get his continued tribal tat which is always nice to see. No misprinting or anything like that. He does have single jointed arms because I don't think they had quite updated you know, the, the double jointed arm look before these got printed out. But going down into the 
legs. I really wish they would have used the Bray Wyatt Elite 85 legs because he didn't wear like these bunched up jogger type deals. He wore long pants. He didn't wear these jogger type deals, man. He wore long pants. So to see this, I would have liked to seen some long pants in this color would have been fine. Like the color's fine and the belt's all good. The long pants that come on the Elite 85 Bray Wyatt would have been way better, but obviously this is just a repaint of the uh, Elite 81 Rock or a redo of that figure, so I understand it. You got the solid brown shoes there, which is the same sneaker mold that we've seen multiple times in the past. Nothing too crazy. He does have double jointed knees there, but I will say this figure feels much more solid in the hand than the Elite 81 Rock, and I would do a comparison with that figure, but it's way up on the shelf and I couldn't even get to it without knocking over my arena, so we're just gonna have to live with this and uh, compare it to the Ultimate Edition. So here's your Rock figure comparison, and I will say this skin tone's like more saturated than this skin tone. I think this skin tone's more accurate, but for this Elite, you guys can even tell that it's more saturated there, but I think this head sculpt or a pissed off rock with like some, like a, a five o'clock shadow or something would have been really sick for this figure, and I think that'd still make this figure look better. Maybe we can do that on surgery or something, but I don't like the smiling head sculpt on the, on the Hobbs and Shaw rock right here, so I don't know. You guys could let me know what you think, but that's your rock figure comparisons, and he's also shorter than that. Like, that's, that's a pretty massive deal right there, man. Gotta fix that height. And then for Jacob Toretto's accessories, man, just like the rock, he gets interchangeable hands, and then he comes with a cloth accessory, and for his cloth accessory, it's just a bare navy t-shirt, man. It's just a Hanes regular fitted tee, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a navy plain t-shirt. You could use this for a lot of things, I'm sure, but just a cool navy shirt. I mean, that's pretty much it. Plain Jane, nothing on there. I, I, I'm fine with it. Again, no guns or anything crazy like that, which is okay, I guess. It's just sort of plain Jane. It's a cool idea and fun thing there, but you do also get mic holding hands, and then out of the packaging, just like The Rock, he comes with fisted hands, man. So both of these figures very similar in accessories, nothing else like that. And I'm pretty sure the Roddy Piper figure is the exact same. He has his flannel shirt, and then he has some sunglasses and interchangeable hands. So, I mean, outside of that, man, we, we pretty much covered their accessories. So getting into the John Cena, man, starting out at the head sculpt, we do have this, like, modern John Cena head. I don't think it's bad by any means. His haircut was kind of weird for that film. You know, it probably could be a little bit darker hair, but I'm not, you know, I don't think it's a huge deal there. He is looking slightly off to the right. I think the head sculpt does look like John Cena. I just think it's going to depend on how your eyes are printed onto your figure, but mine doesn't look too bad. You know, it's got the standard John Cena skin tone on there. He does have the second John Cena torso, you know, the one that comes on the shorter shorts. He's got the same biceps and arms, it looks like, or it looks like they, they put the jacked arms on there. You know, it's just your standard John Cena torso. It is kind of loosey-goosey, which is kind of upsetting, but they took that torso and threw it on top of a jean mold, which is just black. It's just solid black jeans, which we've seen before. You got the black belt, black crotch, black long pants going down and then just standard black shoes on there. Nothing too crazy with this figure. And again, man, they're pretty plain Jane figures. Like, not a lot of stuff going on with it, but again, it is cool to see that they have dove into Hollywood and gotten some of that stuff done and everything like that. And I guess I can go ahead and throw the shirt on there so you guys can see a close-up of what it looks like on the figure. And I like, you know, I like the way the figure is looking in the shirt. Maybe it looks a little bit wide there, but the cuff is nice and the, you know, the shirts going around the biceps looks pretty good right there. But again, it's just a standard navy shirt on a John Cena. I mean, I don't know what to say there. And for your John Cena figure comparisons, guys. Here's the new Ultimate Edition right here up next to the Jacob Toretto, and then you have the top talents over here with the head swap and everything like that. So, you kind of get the best of both worlds, right? You got, like, uh, near the beginning of his career into, you know, sort of the launch of John Cena there, or shortly thereafter the launch, and now you have big-time Hollywood John Cena, so it's pretty cool to see right there. And it's nice to see the little comparisons there, man, but that pretty much wraps up your Jacob Toretto John Cena figure. But anyways, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Hollywood figures of John Cena and The Rock. Had a ton of fun with the review. I like these figures. I was excited when they first showed them off. I think that if you're a big time Cena or Rock fan or you just love Hollywood and you know movies and entertainment and stuff or even just the Fast and the Furious movies you know we never really got some really good Dom Toretto or Paul Walker or anything like that figures man. So these are pretty cool even though they're not completely there and they are you know kind of side off characters. Yeah I mean the, the Rock's kind of more important to the series than you know John Cena. I feel like that was kind of just out of left field just to get John Cena in there really. I mean that, that just that that's a whole nother topic for another video, but these are Walmart exclusive, so be on the lookout for them. I was out of town on a toy hunt, and I just randomly checked a random Walmart, and I did not expect to see these, but they were there, man, along with 50 battle packs. There were 50-something battle packs at this Walmart that I went to, but if you guys want to grab these, you can't do so at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. You have to go to Walmart and find it in the wild, because I think it's sold out online, and a lot of other things. I may have pre-ordered these online. I don't freaking remember, man. Anyways, WWE Hollywood Series, I'm done with it. Don't cross the line like uh, the Rock figure when they didn't give him the damn Bray Wyatt Elite 85 pants. F. You crossed the line. I've been